Chia, 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 salute, salute. What's good, Facebook? You already know what it is. Make sure you hit that share. We got two major on the way. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, you already know the deal. It's your man, Big Earl, over the hill, South Bronx, you know what I'm saying? Worldwide, AKA, Theater, AKA, Danny Roman, and I'm here chilling with my main man, Day One, you know what I'm saying? GQ, MC, give it down, catch the rhyme. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cheer, 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 cheer. Salute, salute, salute. Orlando and worldwide. You are now tuned into another episode of Check the Rhyme right here on Indie Jams Radio. I am your favorite sort of speak, uh, sort of speaking, sort of reeking. GQ to Embassy. My goodness, my 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 my, my voice is horse. It's not even horse. It's horse. Alongside my shooter. Cheer, L- cheer, cheer. LB on the boards. Yo, my voice is what's not good. It's it's bad, yo. It was, uh-huh. it was lit. You was eating some uh, chicharrones. <laughs> I was not. I, I was definitely not eating chicharrones. But you were out late last night. You got to say it like uh, Thurston Howe, nah, chicharrones. Nah, 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 nah. You was wild last week. That's mad Puerto Rican, chicharrones. You said you had some before you came to the show. Yo, he had, I think he had his chicharrones cereal. Wow. I mean, he's... That's a good he's uh, Yo, the new album is Don Chicharrones. I like that picture. <laughs> Yo, sure. <laughs> that's actually part of a music video. You got it. Yo, listen, go go to my Facebook. You got to search Wow Fredo Guns All Easy. You already know how you pronounce my name because Facebook is hitting me <laughs> with it. You got to use your government. My government is Wilfredo. I got the most Puerto Rican name, Yo, Wilfredo, but I'm Wilfredo. Gonzalez. I got the name that nobody names their kids anymore on Puerto, in Puerto Rico. <laughs> like, nobody <laughs> uses Wilfredo anymore. So anyway, uh, I started talking that truth on Facebook. Shout out to Facebook. Everybody on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you share, share, share. You already know what it is. Salute to Danny Rivera, man. That's Mr. Schick, man. Super legendary. You already know what it is. We will have him on the show very soon. God fearing. You already know. And uh, But anyway, I, I, I was hitting people with the truth on Facebook. And they shut me down, and then they was like, you got to send a copy of your drive. This is real talk. I'm not even making this up. You got to send your driver's license, everything, almost like my social security, almost all whole nine, right? And then they was like, you know, just to make sure everybody is authentic, you know what I'm saying? And they, they made me change my name to my uh, government name, which is Wilfredo Gonzalez. And, you know, me being the oldest um, rebellious teenager in history, I changed the pronunciation to my names. Instead of Wilfredo, it's Wildfredo. And instead of Gonzalez, it's Guns All Easy. That's fire. I don't care. Anybody. Can I get a one time for that? Because come on, that's creativity. That's always a one time. That's creativity at its best. You know what I'm saying? Wildfredo, Guns All Easy. Hit me up on Facebook. Also, <laughs> let's get into that promo run because I'm feeling like I'm feeling super froggy on the promo. Make sure you hit me up on Snapchat. Twitter, SoundCloud, and Reverb Nation at GQ the Embassy. Hit me up on IG at G the number two DAQ. Also on IG at Check the Rhyme Indie Jams Radio. Jams with a Z. Check the Rhyme Indie Jams Radio. And if you want that work, oh, we going back to it. Hit me up on PS4 at G to the Q because you can get that work. Cheer. Which company you got? I know there's two. What? Nah, I I listen. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't even been on PS4. I'm just I've been promo yeah, running. Well, listen. I mean, listen. I will get it on. What it is? People out there still going hard. Well, they got they got the life of of a, of a child to be able to play that. And salute <laughs> to all the gamers out there. I don't even, I'm not trying to mock y'all. Y'all really going hard on that. But whatever. 
If hit me up on PS4 or G to the Q, man. I don't care if it takes eight months for me to accept you. Whatever. I just. You gotta get a little better with the game. I, you wanna play? I need. I ain't got the time. I just want to see all that. I want to see it flooded when I get on. Finally, I just want to see it flooded with mad friend requests. You know what I'm saying? Like all that. Also, shout out to my YouTubers out there. Make sure you go to Check the Vine Radio. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Um, share. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff, man. Salute to all the legends, man. Last night it was ridiculous, ridiculous over there at Iron Cow, uh, No Borders event. Thurston Howell the third. Shut it upside down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I you did? Oh, yeah. Trini, that was Trini Elevate. <laughs> Salute to Trini Elevate. But that's, that was my. I was like, it's a bunch of gangsters. That's. Right you're hip hop gangsters. How we do it? So, Mad Ills. Salute to Mad Ills, yo. He. He destroyed the host tonight. He's a super duper host. But let me tell I got to say a funny story. Sorry, Ills. Don't hate me for this. He said my name absolutely incorrect. <laughs> I don't know if he had a couple of drinks. He said GQ the ambassador. That's fire. I don't care. You know what? At this point, I, it's whatever. He can call me that. <laughs> Only Matt Ills can call me GQ the ambassador. It is what it is, man. I don't know because you GQ and then ambassador. I know. It sounds it sounds very it's it sounds very um how should I say like diplomatic you know what I'm saying I kind of I like that it it, it 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 works for me but Mad Ill shut it down shout out to Big Earl man real talk shout out to everybody shout out to the bartender who 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 gave us gave my wife a free drink I didn't have to pay for it I was that's so one time for that guy I mean seriously because who does that one time one time oh they want crap girl sheesh. Oh, man. I, yeah, <laughs> free drinks. One time for the bartender. Who gave me the free Mr. drink bartender. for wifey? Shh, I'm loving you right now. <laughs> you say. Wait, me. what kind of drink was it? What kind of drink was it? Henny. No, it was a margarita. It was a, it was a margarita was in a in a beer glass. How? Yes, what? Thank. You. That's why I deserved the one time. Oh. Might even deserve a two time. You keep strong. it up. I oh, wow. I don't know I didn't drink I was on the she I was, was on the Coronas. She was feeling nice. She's like, this is my song. They wasn't even playing the song. That's her life. <laughs> That's her life. Everything. It's my song. It's my song. They wasn't even playing nothing. Hey, her, her my my wife's uh theme music in her life is Hey Mr. DJ. Hey. <laughs> That's just it. That's just how it goes. But nah, it was it was super lit. The artist, there was actual artists. I thought it was going to be like a rap battle, right? right? They came up and they were like, uh, you know, so-and-so from, from Puerto Rico, so-and-so from Ecuador. And I was like, oh, they about to spit bars. And they had they had canvases on either side of them, behind them. And then they, they were like, the theme is um, you have, like, I don't even know how many minutes, five minutes, 30. something. I, huh? 30. How many? 30, 30, 30, 30 minutes? 30. Damn, that's a lot of time. Now Wait, that I think about it. To, what, to draw a picture of to represent where they're from right there on the spot. Serious artists, like, and the, the first round it was crazy. It was like, wow, dope. You from PR one? Shout out to the to the Boricuas. Yeah, Salute to all my Ecuadorianos. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already right know. That's why the whole thing was no borders. Doesn't matter where you're from. It was all to represent the Latino culture. You know what I'm saying? And um, so yeah, shout out to the Ecuadorianos, and uh, of course, shout out to my wepas. You know what I'm saying? My Boricuas. Y'all already right know. It's your favorite Puerto Rican. And so he won. And then the second one, it was so amazing. Like, shout out to the first round. It was awesome. The second round. And they were so lit that they they were tied. They were trying to get them to come back up to redraw something. But I'm not gonna lie, after drawing what they drew, I'd have been like, bro, I'm shut down for the night. Yeah. That's it. You only get one. So they had thirty minutes, and what they draw the second round? They one. Amazing. Yeah, just one just one? yeah, and it was, but it and was. What, what country was, was one? Can you go to another country? Dr. You know what I'm saying? Shout to que lo que hay. Shout to my que lo que hay. My, my tigres, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's my awesome. that's the Domin Dominican spot, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and and then what's the other guy from? One was from DR and the other guy was from where? Mexico. Yo, man, shout out to all the Mexicans, real talk, man. What would you have drawn this week? I probably would have drawn chicharron. Oh my god, you're the stupidest. What? what? Yo, shout out to Thurston Howell III. I don't know. It's the best thing I could come up with at the moment. I think I would have won because Thurston Howell would have said, that's it. It's my event. And then he won because I, I like Chicharron like no, that. No, he would have won. It was a biased decision, though. Because you know what you like. 
trying to tell you. I'm trying to told you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I would have drawn the that the aroma. The the aroma would have been drawn in that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I would have wow. not. Nah, you know what? I would have I would have drawn Thurston Howell the third eating chicharrón. There you go. That would have been better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but now nah, I was lit. You know, I mean, I'm not lying. Like it was lit. We had B boys. The DJ was fire. I, I can't remember his name. I'm I'm sorry. I was I was I was a little coroned out. Lord forgive me. But um yeah. So. The, the, the music was all 90s fire. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was back to back to back to back. The B-Boys hip-hop, were... Hip-hop, so we saw everything? Hi, no, no, hip-hop. Okay. It was straight hip-hop. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to all my freestyle heads and my house heads, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm super hip-hop head and hip-hop. Oh, no, no. They play salsa, too. I ain't gonna lie. They play salsa. Um, but, yeah, the hip-hop was on fire, and the B-Boys were on the floor, dance floor, doing their thing. Shout out to Mad Ill. Shout out to Trini. Elevate. Um, Big Earl. Thurston Howe the third, um, and everybody else that was in the building that showed me love. Um, like I said, <laughs> you name me, EQ the ambassador. <laughs> it's all good. Right, so he's gonna be he's gonna be on the show in December. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know while I'm out there I'm working. You know I I never stop working. So we was networking and and, and setting things up. Um, also I. Sh- uh, we're going to have uh, Positive K on the show real soon. You know what I'm saying? Just just got that. Shout out to Curtis Blow. We'll have Positive K on the show. Not in the studio, but we'll have him via Facebook Live That's one of our conversation. Like That's right. That was. Really yeah. We're going to have another good interview. Um, and uh, I just wanted to, you know what it is? When we was on the, uh, on the other spot, that it was really cool. And I just was like, you know, I would like to relive it, you know, kind of redo it um, here on Any Jam. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so we got that set up, you know. And, we, and uh, shout out to Mr. Shick, you know what I'm saying. If you if you are not familiar with Mr. Shick, go to YouTube and uh, search. Him. Personality. Shout out to Two Major. Get your behind over here, man. Uber Lyft, whatever it is. Get on a bike. I don't know what it is. Put some roller skates. <laughs> put some roller skates and hang on to the back of the bus, New York style. You know what I'm saying? But before we get into this first joint, um, we need to praise God. That's real talk. So, um, Heavenly Father, I pray that uh, this show it enlightens, inspires, and motivates. Um, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. <laughs> Now, let's get into the first joint of the day. We got plenty to talk about, but we got also plenty of hip-hop joints to play. This is uh, from my dude, um, Joshua Diaz and Wilkins Gonzalez. This one's called El Reino. Um, this is phenomenal. This is fire, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. Last week, we debuted Wilkins' joint, All in uh, all. All, in all. Um, uh, Check him out on YouTube, CGM. That's Christ Glorified Music. Uh, he, he got phenomenal... Uh, inspirational Christian music, you know, because on this show we represent hip hop to the fullest. So it's going to be inspirational, it's going to be secular, it's going to be independent, it's going to be battle, it's going to be legendary, you know what I'm saying? Because who else going to bring that to you like me? EQ the MC, your favorite Puerto Rican soul. Here we go, El Reino, right here. Remember where you heard it first? Shout out to Josh Diaz, check the rhyme, CTR23, your favorite Puerto Rican, EQ the MC. What up, what up, what up, what up? Major, get your behind over here, man. <laughs> Hold up, I'm about to. Make sure you share the video, y'all. Real talk. Mm. What up, Wilkins? Fire, boy. We're doing everything. Shout out to Indie Jams. Y'all know what it is. Woo! Make sure you hit that share, share, share. Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> Shout out to all the Cubanos out there. Y'all already know what it is. What up, Ra? Q. Uh. 
Uh, uh. Pagans. Woof de doo. Uh. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on my uh, YouTube channel. Check the Rhyme Radio. Make sure you search that. Hit me up. Hit me up. Let me see your comments. Let's talk. Let's chop it up. Uh. What up, what up? I'm just inviting people. Matter of fact, I'm about to invite two major. <laughs> oh, that's what two major should do. Yo, yo, major, call up. I'm telling right now, hit me up. Yeah, hit me up on. Oh, hold up. Yo, <laughs> let me see his number. Give me one second, y'all. Real chill. Salute, salute, salute. Make sure you hit that share button. Two major on his way. He running late. I don't know. I think he had to get a a, a six pack of beer because you know that's the drunken master himself. So you know what it is, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, major, call in, bro. Oh, he's outside. Hey, yo, man. Come through the Narnia, bro. Hey, yo, can you do me a favor? Open the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Locked out? Nah, you ain't locked. You locked out? You locked the door? Yo. Nah, nah, nah. I got to go around the back, Major. Come around the back, Major. Narnia. Oh, my. Yo, can you do me a favor? Walk out front, my man. My bad, bro. He be crazy, bro. That's why I love you, Major. Because you be majorly lost. <laughs> uh, uh, cheer, 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 salute, salute, salute. Orlando and worldwide, you already know you're tuned in to the number one hip-hop show in Orlando. Check the rhyme right here on Indie Jams Radio. I am your favorite Puerto Rican. You wonder what a sort of Rican, that Rican is. That's when, you know, everyone be like, ah, oh, you know, you don't speak Spanish. Ah, oh, no, nah, you don't eat chicharrones or whatever so you know they, they try to disclaim you as being puerto rican but you know what it is yo we got two major in the building hold on let me switch the we're gonna switch the camera right now it's all for you right now you know what i'm saying he putting the headphones on hold on let me let him, let me get him off let me get him off because he gotta get pretty he gotta get the right head set you know what it is major do radio too so you know what i'm saying he gotta make sure he's set he got his eagle apparel on you know what i'm saying it's, my man is number one Eagle fan in Orlando. Yeah, we lost today, but it's all good. It don't matter, man. We, we, I'm a Giants fan. We used to that, man. We, we I'm pretty sure either. you guys are. Yeah, but we, we still got more Super Bowls than you, but it's okay. Ah. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about major facts. Major What's facts. up, man? I'm in the building now. What's good. Happening? You, know, you got my attention. I'm going to forgive you because you missed prayer. Oh, man. We do. We start the show in prayer, but it's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? You always be in, 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 in I'm in good spirits. That's I'm right. Good spirits. Listen. I wish you would have been out at Iron Cow last night. I was, I was supposed to be. Why Why did you not show up? Let's uh, talk about that. Unfortunately, uh, uh, training problems. Uh, okay. Taking over all places right now. That's all right. He's in charge. Wifey, <laughs> we, I know how wifey runs things. That's wifey right there. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? She run, she run things rude, boy. Listen, she was trying to get me to purchase a bed right before we got there. She really? Like, I need this bed. I need this bed. And she's like, I can't get that bed. <laughs> that is so wifey right yeah, yeah, but it's all good. The bed, the bed comes first. I just like it, man. You gotta, you gotta go along with it. You like it? I mean, I can't take any credit. I can't take any credit. That's all LV on the boards. LV on the boards, yeah, for sure. You already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's LV actually did your first ever interview, correct, if I'm... One of my favorite yeah. episodes. Um, you were like, nonstop. I was like, I don't even want to turn the beat off because crazy. you're crazy. I got a, I got a confession I have to make. Uh-oh. You're actually w- one of my wife's favorite battlers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh, hey, that's, right. hey. that's really tough. That's right. That's yeah, right. One time, man. I gotta get LB on the one time button. Appreciate, it. appreciate it. I yeah, might make you do a 21 gun salute for that. Oh, nah, man. but real talk, man. That's you. You. You be. Uh, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Just keep doing it, man. Absolutely. I appreciate you. I've watched a hundred. I'm not lying. I've watched at least a hundred of your battles. 
you still don't know what rhymes with Metropolis. Still don't know what rhymes with Metropolis. Maybe one day we'll figure that out. Somebody made me a shirt, actually. I think it was RC. And uh, the front said what rhymes with Metropolis, and the back had a bunch of really <laughs> That's I still got it. I wish you would have worn that today. Yo, man. I, I actually just got back from Maryland uh, last week. Uh, they had booked me out there. Went out there on a um, flight hotel for um, the GOCC, their brand new league in um, in Florida. Nice. It's called Guardians of the Coast. Okay. And uh, a little bit of history about the fellow who owns the um, the Battle League. He's actually um, the lawyer for a uh, Grammy-nominated, award-winning um, artist. It's like Lil Wayne. Oh, Mariah wow. Harry. So he's a real big fan of Battle Rap. And uh, if you ever heard of KDSV Studios, mm-hmm. no, it's no. over there by Millennial. It's, it's a pretty decent sized studio. It's like okay. where Smack did their event. Word. Yeah, they have a big hall in there. It's like a warehouse and it's all white. So they had the uh, Smack URL. People go over there and do volume. Uh, it's called volume one, two, three, four. It's a small room thing. It's a big room, but it's a small room. No fence. Right. Just, you know, so wow. we were there doing that. And then I even got to meet some of the guys. And next thing you know, the guy's like, you know, big, huge fan of battle rap. But it flew me out to Maryland, picked some butt up there. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Then then you was on Facebook just uh, exposing your stomach. I don't know what that was about. Yo, man, <laughs> their hotel rooms in Maryland are messed up. You got bro. bed bugs. Hey, I got bed bugs or something, man, because I came out there. I was. Woo. It's so bad in Maryland that the bed bugs got fleas. What? It was bad. It was crazy. I don't know. That's what I read. Yeah, I, I mean, I love being violent. Shout out to Maryland. Shout out yeah. to The Wire. Ooh, that was my favorite series in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where that went down. Yeah, yeah. Exactly where it went down. Also, so I can remember going for I won like the host of battle. You won the host of battle? A thousand percent. Well, how about this, buddy? Um, I didn't care. Actually, I was talking to Keith Bell. We're actually trying to uh, um, throw an event together um, sometime in November. On the it's weekend, gonna, it's, it's the, it, that's what I'm saying. So we want to uh, rack up on Saturday. Of course, Keith is on a Friday, um, I believe, because um, we want to bring the radio station out there to broadcast. It. Okay. So, so it's going to be a multiple choices. It's basically like the battle of. Still want to do the art battle too here as well. That, ooh, that was fire so, last night. Yeah, it was. Man, uh-huh. I I went to the one prior to that and it was lit. I never seen anything like that before. Shout to Keith Thaw. And I was, uh, you know, he put me on the spot to be judging on the, on the art thing. And um, I didn't know what to do that night. So I had I had to like study for a week. Like, man, I don't want to go in there and just like. But how do you prepare to study for art? Because battle? I need to know. I need to know what 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 really validates these people to you know to win a. a I just thought if you just like the picture more on this side, that's it. He See, won. I knew it's not. It's got to be more than that than just liking the picture. I'm so simple. You know what I mean? I'm so simple. It's got to be more. It's just like how intricate the colors that they use mm-hmm. and stuff is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And details and all that stuff. And that's what that's what the art is about. Like I can't paint you a pretty picture and tell you it's pretty. You know what I mean? Like, I would. It's got, it's got to. That's fire. I ain't gonna lie, man. Cause I'm gonna be a few coronas in, and I'm be like, zoo to the left. I just like that one better. And you be like, DQ. Come on, man. Look at the contrast. What is, this guy drew a Ninja Turtle and like, but it's fire. And then the other guy drew like Biggie. So uh, it was just like, uh, all right, man. Oh uh, no, nah, Biggie got a win because he a legend. This? So are the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> you know, L- LV asked me what I would have drawn, right? I said I would have drawn because uh, it was Thurston Howell the third there. Yeah. That's Don Chicharron. So I said I would have. I would have drawn Chicha home. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I figured he would have wanted that to win anyway. Draw three D Chicha home, you'd be all right. Then I said I would draw him eating the Chicha home. That's two for five. That is bar. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But seriously, yo. But it was dope. Matt Ills. Yo, he changed my name. What did he change your name? He's, he calls me. He called me GQ the Ambassador. Why? I don't know. He messed up the shout out, but I kind of like it. You know, I want to. That, that actually fits out right. You know, I want a kid. <laughs> You, like names, you're not saying Matt was a kid, but when a kid's like, you know, you can be if, if a five year old says three major to that kid, you can be three major. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody call me one major. That's what that sound like. They needed to get queued up at that battle. Get out of the chat. Next time you write the letter. So you went to Maryland. Let's for the people that don't know, you destroyed who in Maryland? I destroyed the homie Lab uh, Jay-Z. You did, didn't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's um basically it's tough sometimes like going to other places. There's a bias right there that happens anywhere you go. There's always going to be their top dog and their mm-hmm. top boy. Like they don't want to see that man lose. So I went up there. I did my thing. I held my I held my ground. So did my guys. I came out there with four other guys and um, held my ground. But 
then again, the favoritism is, you know, you know, our, our type of travel. I've been in Alaska and all that. You know right. what I mean? So, and I'm never biased for anything that happened, but I went up there and I felt like it was yeah. unjust. But, you know, I expect that, but not like that. Not like that from there, because I've been in other cities that were proud of me. You was in Baltimore? I, I was near Baltimore, right next to it. Yeah, so, it goes it goes down in Baltimore. Shout out to B-Noir, real talk. Yeah, it's like borderline Baltimore. It's almost like uh, the Bristol Mecca down the way. Oh yeah, oh no, they trust me, they probably but they still did, ratchet. and they still <laughs> uh, they still did their thing. They came out swinging, you know. Mm-hmm. Can't be mad at their talent or anything like that. I had a great time. I actually ended up hosting the whole event. Wow. So that's you know, how you know you love me. Yeah, yeah. So I brought the crowd. Everybody loves me. Everybody yeah, loves me. absolutely, man. I, but yeah, definitely, I would love to uh, to. I love to host anything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I like to be in the mix, man. But real talk, you know, I get the crowd hype. I'm gonna be honest with you, I might destroy my Christian, my Christianity. I don't even know if that's a word, but we, <laughs> to the bad I create. I, I, for, I have to ask God for forgiveness because you know, all type of stuff might come out. Cause you might get the crowd hype, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you know, that's what happens. happens you know? <laughs> I, I, I know. I'll pray hard on that. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. But, but nah, seriously, man. To host an event, to be a part of things, hip hop, man. That's one thing. You know, you know, we've known each other for a bit now. Um, and I'm pretty sure you remember the first time seeing me on the scene. Oh, yeah. yeah um, but it wasn't my first time being on the scene. You know what I'm saying? I was on the scene during the slat line. No, uh, Sonny, you know, Sonny my, my homie Sonny put me on the uh, block. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I got a little history, man. I just, I'm just one of them quiet dudes. You know what I'm saying? I've been around some people, but none of that stuff really holds much credibility to myself because at the end of the day, I'm just not putting my, my pants on the same way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. And I'm, and yeah. I'm just a humble dude. God fearing more, more, more so today than ever before. You know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, man, you know that's how we do it. But hey, like I said, if you want to uh, rock on with I us do. to the uh, the most, I don't have a full name for it, so yeah. I'm just naming it the most official event. Just but GQ, the ambassador, most official. That's event. it, right that? there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Demographics of, of the lawyer who was for Carter Three is him. Wow. He's, uh, he's the actual lawyer. The Backstreet Boys, Mariah Carey, and I'm missing one more. Oh, uh, Hot Boys. Um, oh, Ninety Nine. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did that. He did. He did. Wow. The so Hot he, Boys. The Hot Boys, man. He's big time. So he, you got a guy like that who loves battle rap that wants to that, that's willing to spend money. It's gonna happen. Yeah. The platform is gonna be there. Um, they actually got an event coming. Uh, two day event, twenty fifth and twenty sixth, and there's a lot of famous battle rappers on that card and this is probably one of the biggest cards there's ever been in florida as far as that goes since grind time days wow like 
big time. They got DNA ship trip, like wow, like big yeah. time names, man. This isn't this isn't no little thing. So that right there ought to capitalize the Floyd Battle Rap alone right there. That guy, people like him. And then um, we'll see where it goes from there. But right now it's hot. It's, 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 the scales are tipping right now. That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's that's one of the reasons why um, when I was chopping up with Curse Now the Third uh, last week, and he was saying that um, shout to Miami. Um, but he was saying that a lot of the, the hip-hop scene is, like, kind of dead. No, nah, people don't know where to look. Oh, you heard that, Thurston? They don't. They don't. And, and, I, and I, I've had that issue not too long ago. Somebody was asking if they were on Facebook saying, yeah. hey, man, um, how come I never hear about these things or anything like that? I'm like, I don't know how often do you actually look for these things or where do you try to find them when you say that you can't find them? Are you really looking for them? Mm. Are you really on the Internet? Are you really on Facebook? Do you see my statuses? Mm. <laughs> like most importantly, we're friends on Facebook, yeah. and you don't know that I share these flyers or I'm a part of these things. But that's different. You're talking about the battle scene. You're talking about the hip hop scene. Like oh, the the, music, well, that the artist, that type of you're stuff. You're lost there too, man. Yeah. Like there's, it's out there. It's out yeah. there. You gotta look. Mondays, man. We five years in a row, hip hop best seller. Miami. Mike. That's why he's in Orlando now. He was saying in Miami. Oh, in Miami. Yeah. I don't know nothing about that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's a whole nother, yeah. Yeah, that's a whole nother yeah. realm. That's, of, that's of what you're saying. He kind of builds over here. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's, that's why he said he's over here now in Orlando. Oh, okay. Because so, how he love, he's seeing this. And I told him about Austin's Rich Not for when Nothing. He, when he gets well, there. Hold on, not for nothing. I have promoted, Elder can tell you, I promoted for Austin Rich a million percent. I need Austin Rich to come pick up with me. Let's get it. Let's get All it. All you got to do is shout it out, send those pictures in. I'll shout your show out. Come on, Your show, shout me out. You know, I I'm getting money to shout. I'm over the road, man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but you know, whenever I'm, whenever I can, you know, I always come there with a track and try to shut it down. The last time, bro, was yeah, it was me and Apollo. We spoke it. The home, Had yeah. Mike Swift jumping on stage. Oh man, not Mike Swift. <laughs> jumping <laughs> around like he was Listen, out he the jumps, pain. He jumps around without being on the stage. But we man. had him hype. No, he came up and he was just. Uh, he, I don't know if he was tipsy. I don't care. Definitely. He was. He was jumping. That's RC. I don't even think you were there right now. I'm not sure if you were. There. I've, I've been to Austin since you know, on on Mondays a few times lately. I've been uh, I've been doing other things, yeah. trying to get you know soap. But with RC being there, yeah, RC was just fire. But that that night was banana banana and, bonkers. And I actually got um, RC on to do the Friday night for the wire. Yep, I so. caught that too. That, so that that that, that always keeps it you know keep things alive. And, and I'm I'm proud because I always felt like RC needed that. Yeah, the station does. and just to be able to it's bring something. that song freestyle and all that stuff. I just need RC to plug me in. I'll plug in RC, you know what I'm saying? Pause, all that good we stuff. We'd be happy to, man. Yeah, yeah, that's all that good. Let's get into this joint real quick. This is uh, Supreme Eye Divine, if I'm correct. This is my this dude right here was on a, a Ghostface uh, compilation album, if I'm correct. Supreme, that's my bad, man. Just let me know. Um, and uh, that's Supreme Eye Divine. That's his? Okay, let me make sure I'm not destroying you. The, 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 the ambassador, yeah, you know, names get messed up. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But real talk, this is my dude right here, dope MC. Um, check him out on, on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? He got like super, super content on there. It's like 5% of hip hop, like Wu Tang. Oh, type this of, guy's type of, knowledge. Yeah, he be killing it, yo. Um, but yeah, and, and don't sleep, man, because I got some material for him on the show. Oh, man. Oh, I do my research. Oh, man. Man. I hit my dude Sonny up, and I was like, I don't oh, know. Oh, that's all you need. He's the plug. See? <laughs> but that, that's what I'm saying. You would have came up here, would have been no two major. You know, you would probably been like, man, it would have been nice. We would have had some music. Sonny does all of the stuff. And we got you. Matter of fact, when we play, when we get to two major, we're going to let two songs rock back to back. Real talk. And then right. Man of the House will be the last one. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into that Supreme Eye Divine. You know where you heard it first. Check the rhyme. We got two major. It's your favorite show of the weekend. DQ the Embassy in the Joins Radio. Chip. Rock on, bro. Yeah, man. So, yo, make sure you shout everybody out right now because we're being, you know, we live right here on Facebook. Yo, let me know how the sound is. Because they can say the sound is kind of low on this bad boy. I don't know. It's, it's a non plus. You already know, man. Two mates hanging out with DQ the Ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> Ram, I got El Blue in the building. She uh, finally made it out, man. It's been over time. Um, we're supposed to rock this uh, wild effect. Wild game. Like but it's all good, though. It, it, it I'm here now. It happened when I it had it. to happen. I made it. Y'all already know. Yo, let me know. Let me know how the sound is. You know what I'm saying? I took it off the tripod. I don't know if that thing was muffling it. I don't know. Listen, 
if you want me to get a new phone, I need you to hit me up on paypal.me. Thank you to Embassy. You know what I'm saying? Just do, do the right thing for me so that I can do the right thing for the Jew. You know what I'm saying? Also, shout out to everybody on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell. Share the video. I need I need like 2,000 subscribers ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you're on Facebook, go to YouTube.com. Check, uh, search, check the rhyme radio. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, it's just I don't know. It's like the Wax. It's the hip hop birthday candle. Right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, we're gonna show everybody the, the hip hop birthday candle. Look, look, that's how we do it. It's supposed to be. Awesome, it's actually kind of fire. It is. My birthday is October 20th. So if anybody does cakes. I'm accepting donated cakes for my birthday. Just make sure you put something like this and some turntables. Make some like wax b-boys like right over here and like a b-girl over here doing some sort of crazy maneuver. I don't know, whatever. I don't, don't let the hands, I don't know what's wrong with me. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. And I take free gifts, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Do all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's how we that's how, that's how promote over here, yo. Real talk, real talk, real talk. But yeah, man, let me know how the sound's going, yo. Because everyone's saying, like, before, uh, it, I think it was clipped on the thing, and they say that the sound was all the way low. My bad. I got a Galaxy 9 Plus. It's not outdated. All right, we'll come back. Yeah. I know. About to come out at, what, 10 seconds? All right, 30 seconds. Supreme Eye Divine, you know what it is, yo. Appreciate you, brother. I told you I was going to debut your joint. And I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my palabras. your boy G to the embassy. I'm chilling with two major. The guy's so major, he's two major. Two major. So man, you know, uh, uh, I, <laughs> I caught when I catch your battles, man. One thing that I always am so entertained is how emotionally wrapped up you are. It hurts. You be this is the crazy part because you be like this close to somebody's face, right? And you get so charged, but as soon as their nose touch you, boom, they're like, yo, hold up, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, we about to hook off. I don't, I don't think it's always like that. RK, RK battle was, that was that Hey, was man, good. look, there's, you know, one thing about me, oh, man, like these last few years, I've taken battles that I shouldn't have taken, and maybe it's because of the money, or maybe it isn't, but... But like I, I have to battle people who push my fence. Like that's I want I want to be at my most full potential when I battle somebody. Arcade's my dude. I love him. I yeah, I just got back to Maryland with him. Nice. Yeah, that was one of the guys. He's my top gunner. I love him. And um when I battled him I had no interest whatsoever mm -hmm. to battle him. But I did it I don't know why. But the point is and he didn't push my pen. I didn't care for him. I didn't, you know, I put too much into whatever, but I went into another league trying to do something and I, it didn't go too well like I wanted to make it like that. But him, you know, he did some stuff and like his pointer finger ended up tapping oh. my nose. He was just all in and all in, next thing you know, bloop, and it just, I was already drinking, you know, and, and it triggers you even <laughs> yeah. quicker. So I just had to step back, man. Don't do that rap. Rap, yeah, 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 rap, yeah. buddy. We can rap. We can be in each other's yeah. face. Rap, but don't, don't touch me. Don't touch I don't me. touch nobody else. That is true. I, you do. You, you push the envelope, on I've seen you come. Well, certain certain, pe certain people like the uh, the momentum is already built between us. There's already been uh, heavy talking, and uh, you know, words being said. And it, it, you know, once yeah. you once you trigger those things, it's just like I get on it now. It's now it's game time. One, one battle that I came across that I was actually shocked. I couldn't believe I was actually watching this. I was like, is this right? I didn't even know you battled well. Yeah, I battled well. Was this before, before or after game. Seven? Yeah, wow. before seven. Now, let me ask you a question. When you when you guys, because I, I assume you you, you see, you, you, you watch the battle after. Yeah. Did you guys say, yo, this guy, we should probably, you know, 
Well, we was in the talks. Jump, jump them in. Like. <laughs> we was in the talks of that happening already. Oh, what? That. Yeah, it was already there. But um, Rose in his own lane. So, like, I think maybe six, seven months later after that is when uh, he really initially got in. But it was his decision at that point. I mean, we just told him, hey, to, it's on the table. And then um, I think he did a battle for us or whatever. And after that night, we were so hyped. We was like, yo, man, what's up? I was like, all right, nice. came out of nowhere, you know what I mean? We nice. didn't like, we didn't, we just asked him that one time, and seven, eight months later, the offer's still on the table for Rose, no matter what. Yeah, he took it, and my man's doing big things. He's about to battle uh, next month, actually, requesting the Cody. Yeah, so. he's fire. I had him on the show last year, um, and it was dope, man. It was really dope. Um, what are what are some of the things that you love the most about the battle rap culture, and some of the things you love the least? The most is the uh, probably the feeling and energy you get from battle rap. It's not it's not like being on stage and uh, just knowing you're a dope writer and knowing that you can you, you have the power to uh, do some things on that stage and, and create fans and build a fan base off of it. That's the best thing about it. The energy from it, I love it. When I'm on stage killing stuff and just doing my thing, I absolutely love it. Uh, the least thing I like about it is the fakeness. All the all the bull crap that happens behind the scenes, like ninety percent of the, the stuff that they say on there, just you know, it's, it's, it's fake. I don't rap like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I rap with with a point. I get on that stage and I try to humiliate you with, you know, with bars and facts at the same time. I don't never go personal, personal, but I tell it how it is and how I seen your career. Then I'm gonna get personal with your career. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. But um, the fakeness behind it is just too much, too much talking. Now it's just like, you know how everybody at first wanted to do music, you know what I mean? Everybody was just like, oh, I'm a rapper now, I'm a rapper now, and all that stuff. That's how, you know, eventually stuff like this gets drained, and then next thing you know, you got a bunch of fake dudes in there trying to do some stuff, and, you know, uh, just setting bad examples for uh, mm-hmm. battle rap. So like oversaturated. It's just oversaturated like right WWE. now. So now that's why, that's why I praise... Um, battle leagues that are coming out of nowhere like GOTC that mm-hmm. you know they're they're the big dogs and they know who to book they know who to it's not like little leagues booking trash and putting bad names on battle rap mm-hmm. big time leagues that have put the people that need to be on there mm-hmm. you know what I mean so just stuff like that that's elements that I love the most, um, you know, because I, I love music too, which I should be making more of, but mm-hmm. I get more energy out of writing these 9 to 12 minutes rather than making a song sometimes. Yeah. So that, that energy alone, it, it's like, it's addictive. So I find it, it's a hobby, it mm-hmm. keeps my pen sharp at the same time without having to make music or anything like that. Yeah. But I absolutely love the energy. That's what keeps me coming back. Because it is, it's not, obviously it's not a full-time job. Okay. I would love for it to be. It can be eventually. <laughs> and it can be. I would love yeah. to get paid for that type I, of I stuff. Think, I think in, in due time, you know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. yeah, with the hard work. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not like putting my soul into it to where it's like I have to be paid for battle rap. No, mm-hmm. I'm hoping maybe one day. That it is just nah, the, need, the energy would come reciprocate back to me to say, hey, give time to shine. Nah, <laughs> we, we we gotta make sure because you 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 you've gone from grind time, bare arms, bare arms. I've done don't flop. Don't I've, flop. I went yeah. to Alaska. I went to Connecticut. So, I, I've so been you're, traveling. You're you've been doing your thing, man, extensively. But I tell you what, let's get into some music. Yeah. But just forget about two. We gonna run three back to back. If we have the time, do you have the time to run three? Run, run those two, run those two. Run, run those two? two? All right, run those two, and then we'll come back so that way you can plug some things out because I know we're going to have to close out. Sorry that you, you know, your ride. I don't know who your that's ride was, fine, but it's fine. all good. No, I, I, oh, yeah, that's I right. I ended up picking yeah, somebody yeah. else's truck, so. Yeah, nah, but she's we, probably waiting. Yo, she, 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 she like, yo, <laughs> we need to get this mattress. Listen, now I got to go get now. the box spring and all that oh, stuff. Oh, Lord. <laughs> all right, so let's go into the music. We got two major. Um, what's the name of the song, Elby? This is Sound High Frequency 2. 
Oh yeah, oh Major Key. Major. Yeah, this is one of my favorite Kanye West songs. Man, one of my favorite. Let's get into it. You already know what it is. Check the rhymes. Two major indie jams radio. DQ them to your favorite sort of weekend right here. Chip. Salute. Yeah, I made sure. Alright, no, we got time. We got some time, bro. Yo, 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 let me know if the sound is alright. My bad, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Should be a little better now, though. Chip. Make sure you get that tune in radio app. That way you can listen live on the air. Right now, we rocking two major. Woo! I, I gotta get a t shirt, too, man. I'm getting, I'm, I'm gonna get a uh, Check the Rhyme shirt made, right? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have the brand CTR23, that's the brand. And I'm, I'm custom making, I'm giving them away to certain people. This is real talk. I don't ask for none if I'm not gonna give you something. And I'm gonna have your name on it. So that way it's an official Check the Rhyme shirt. You know what I'm saying? If you want a special color, just let me know. I really asked if we could rock it for a battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I did for these guys. You know, Red Rum and them. I went there. I took their marriage shirt to Maryland. Yeah, see, I thought it was a good look. Real talk, bro. I don't care. For me, a six pack money donation, I don't care. Whatever. I clipped it on the shirt, brother. I got you. Don't even worry about it. What up, what up, PT? Make sure you share, share, share. Let me know how the sound is. Yeah, man. Who's your next battle against, bro? I'm, I'm free right now. I didn't, I didn't book anything. Okay. I'm just um, taking some time off a little bit. I'm, I'm going to help out the GOTC leagues, basically. I'm, I'm going to start doing this stuff, and stuff like that. And, you know, sort of be their ambassador. Yeah. Bro, just let me know, man. Anything you got so for the weekend to, uh, on it, just let me know, man. I just got to see where, where everything lines up. If it up. is on a Friday, just let me know ahead of time. So that way I could try to book a run a little bit earlier, leave on a Sunday right after the show or something, and then I can probably get back Thursday night or Friday morning so that way I have time to get to the event. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So that's not a problem. Yeah, definitely on a Friday night just because um, I made that promise to uh, okay. clean money here. So. Hey, whatever, man. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm super down for it. I have no problem with that, bro. No problem. I mean, this is what I'm about, man. This is what I love, bro. different major i was like oh when i heard it i was like okay so i went ahead and actually um this song is coming on it's going on my ep it hasn't been like fully fully released like i wanted it to yeah. i did drop it but not i dropped it and no hope of getting anything from it well we but now it right here baby once the ep's on it's yeah. on i'm gonna fully got it well, well, let LB know because it's in the system, so she could probably put it in for rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all edited. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah that's, no, it. that's good. I'm, I'm going to be re releasing that. I, it's dope. When I heard it, I was like, okay. I like that. I love the angle of it. It sounds like something that you can share with a man and just, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Letting it out. Yeah, having a little a, a basket with a little cobra coming out of it. Whatever, yeah, all that. Then just being dazed. You should have a, you should have a, a, a cobra in a, one of them like beer, beer things, and they got an open beer. Put it inside like, of a deer beer dispenser. Perfect. I might have to start doing videos. You know what I'm saying? I'll be having. Some. And, that, and that's one thing. That's that's definitely what's gonna happen. Like all this material that's gonna come out's gotta have visual. Yeah. Like my my music, I don't drop it out. Yeah. Now now. Cheer, 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 what it is, what it is, salute Nate, shout out to Promised Land, shout out to Light Seekers, shout out to Revival, you already know what it is, five minutes, five minutes, I got you, you know how it goes, real talk, 
appreciate you, Nate. My guy right there, real talk. Make sure you follow Nate on Facebook. He got the praise, he got the worship, he got the he got the right words to, to, to get you motivated. That's my guy right there, real talk. But, yo, Nate, hit out, hit, shout out to your man Loso, man. Hit him up, man. Tell him to hit me up. Check the rhymes, you know what I'm saying? We'll get him on. We'll do the interview. We'll do the damn thug dizzle. You know how it go. Appreciate you, my brother. Real talk. Make sure you share, share, share this video. It's clean. I start in prayer. For goodness sake, man. Nobody's doing that, man. It's, 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 uh, it's almost worship, visual material. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can get your praise on watching Check the Rhyme. That it. Let's go. All right. Cheers, loose, yeah, loose, loose. Orlando and worldwide, you are still tuned in to check the rhyme, the number one hip hop show in half of America. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I am your favorite sort of weekend, alongside another sort of weekend, That's two right. major. Major, major. Plug yourself in, major, before we head up out of her. Listen, man, you can find me on IG at two major, 187, T O O major, 187, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Look me up, you know, uh, Monday nights, Austin's Coffee Shop, appreciate Check the Rhyme, and also Wednesday nights, um, Queen Money Music, the Y-98, 5-7-2-11, to catch me on the radio, talking all that good stuff and helping the community out, you know how I do. Let's go, and, and Major and already has uh, said he's going to plug Check the Rhyme, That's like right. I continue to plug in Austin, uh, let me know what the name of your show is on, on you know, on the, on the text message or something gotcha. that way I can plug you in every Sunday as definitely, well definitely. and then hopefully vice versa we do the same absolutely on absolutely man Beach we, gotta show, we gotta get you on the show too man we, 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 come up there I know up there. but don't yeah I know but yo via phone whatever you wanna do man we can well, do we that bring LV on man come come oh, come on <laughs> might might hold you hostage you know uh, uh, just get just give me the keys to money yeah we good I'll, 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 I'll start talking with your laptop that's all good though I think you put up something you're gonna yeah you, yeah, you got a new host on the show now. Yeah, right? yeah, I got a new host. Um, it was sort of like, uh, um, you know, this uh, the, the the one prior had some issues that came out of nowhere. Yeah. It was just like complete, and I needed real yeah. fast. And, the, you know, the homie, the girl that I knew, she was just like, give me a shot, give me a shot, give me a shot. I'm like, hey, when they ask for a shot, they, they sometimes can get it, but you know, just don't drop the rock. Yeah, you know that's the saying? main thing because, you know. Because, <laughs> yeah, because. Because you get replaced quick. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, you guys got to come up to the show. Yeah, sure. I, yo, like I said, man, hit me up on the phone, man. We can chop it up via phone while I'm on the road. There's nothing. You know, phone interviews is all love. I'll I take got that, you. too. I got you, man. Real talk. I appreciate it. Yeah, Wednesdays, man. Wednesday, 7 to 11. Wednesday. 7 to 11, 98.5 FM. We usually just start off real light and then, um, you know, usually two artists a night. And then I'll go into the major fact segment later on. Got gotcha. you. That's talk a nice about, segment, man. Talk about stuff like snitches, you know, with the facts and stuff. So Bet. Yeah. Bet. <laughs> Bet. So, yo, make sure you tune in every Sunday. Also, 6 to 7 p.m. with your favorite sort of weekend, GT the Embassy. Hit me up on Snapchat, right. Twitter, SoundCloud, and Reverb Nation at GT the Embassy. IG at GT the Q, G the number two, D A Q. Also, IG at Check the Rhyme, Indie Jams, with a Z Radio. It's your favorite sort of weekend with your other favorite sort of weekend. Check the Rhyme. And your other favorite sort of weekend. And we got a real sort of weekend. And we got an unknown something weekend. Yeah, dog sort of weekend. We, we super weekend out right here. So it's your favorite one, GQ to Embassy. We signing off. Cheer. Salute. Peace. Yo, 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 appreciate I'm about to say, you about to play Takashi 6? No, no, stop. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like Takashi at first. Yo, yo, shout out to Josh Diaz. Got you, man. Hello, I said, man, hold, you already know what it is, man. This is fire. Yo, Josh, man, hit me up. Yo, Josh, real talk. Take my advice on that last track you sent me. Just a little bit, and trust me, it's going to be even more fuequissimo. That's my word. Fuequissimo. What I do. So anyway, salute. Make sure you share, share, share. Appreciate all y'all. Love y'all. Shout out to Promised Land. Uh, Pastor Tim, love you, man. Shout out to uh, Light Seekers with Nate. Shout out to Wilkins. Shout out to Josh. 
Shout out to Jose. Shout out to Desiree. Shout out to everybody from around the way. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Shout out to whole revival out there at Cape Canaveral every Monday. The men's group. Shout out to Jay Belly, man. Real talk. New destiny. You know what I'm saying? That was fire when, when you invited me and I went there. You know I went there, right? Men's prayer, bro. I was in there, bro. It was fire, bro. Salute to everybody in the room, man. Real talk. If you love the show, if you love hip hop, if you love two major, yeah. And even if you hate, you know what? Even share it if you hate us. Like, just do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? And But we love you back, and we might hate you back. Nah, we don't hate you. But real talk, man. Heavenly Father, bless everyone that's watching this show right now. Bless two major. May he go and find the, the best box spring that money can buy and be safe. Hey, prayers and prayers, baby. So, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yo, man, tune in next week. You already know what it is. <laughs> Chill!